Hey, what's up? My name is PJ, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to record a podcast using Skype into GarageBand in two separate tracks. I hope you enjoy. So this is a really easy and cheap way to podcast. All you need is a microphone, um, a USB microphone, which will do. That's what I've got here. It's the AT2020 USB. Um, but that's irrelevant. All you need is a microphone and some headphones. These are just the Apple earpods and the software that comes free on your Mac, basically. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is GarageBand and Skype. GarageBand comes free on the Mac. Um, if you've deleted it or you don't have it, it's really, really cheap. I think it's 10 to $15. Skype is also a free download. If you don't have it already, go and get it right now. Sky, uh, GarageBand, Skype, the other two things that you're going to need are Soundflower. If you just Google Soundflower for Mac, you'll find it. Um, it's on a website called Softonic and it's also a free download. I'll put the link in the description. The other little piece of software that you need is LineIn. And again, free download. If you Google LineIn Mac, you should find it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open GarageBand. We're going to do a voice project. While we're doing that, let's open Soundflower. That's, it's a bit of a tricky one. It's one that confused me a little bit to begin with, but it's one of those programs that runs um, passively in your little top bar here. And open line in as well while you're at it. That'll give you this little dialog box. So, so first thing you need to do is go to your Apple system preferences. So you're gonna go system preferences, then to sound. For the input, you're gonna choose your microphone. In my case, it's the A2020 USB. Set the level, I like it just above half, somewhere around there. For the output, you're going to use your headphones because if you're recording audio, you need to use headphones, otherwise you'll get feedback through the microphone. So click headphones. You can close that up. Let's do Soundflower next. So the Soundflower settings are as follows. Um, yours might say 64 channels here. I'm not too sure. I might have an old version. But anyway, Soundflower 2 channel is going to be off. Soundflower 16 channel is also going to be off. So you can leave that as is. You are going to open GarageBand Preferences. And in the Audio MIDI tab, Input Device is Soundflower 16 channel or 64. Output Device is System Setting, which is obviously going to be your headphones that you just chose in the System Preferences. You can minimize that. It'll take a second to adjust, but minimize that. Line In, Input is going to be your microphone output to Soundflower 16 channel, and then you're gonna hit this playthrough button, which is gonna bring up the little, the levels here. What you need to do next is open up Skype. You can go to your Skype preferences. Your microphone is gonna be your microphone, obviously, that's a given. Ringing is gonna be Soundflower 16 channel or 64, depending on your situation, and same for the speakers. Close that up into GarageBand, let's delete all these presets that it makes for you automatically. And we're gonna make two new tracks. So the first track that you're gonna do is gonna be, let's do input one, that's gonna be your Skype track. Let's also make another new track. This one is going to be input three, which is gonna be your microphone. So you can see already I've got the little level coming in here. Let's change this track name to PJ. and the top one can be Skype. Oops. Okay, so a couple of things you need to do first. You need to right click on these little tracks, hit the header components and show record enable and also show, uh, make sure you've got input monitoring available as well because that means you'll be able to hear the tracks. So you can arm both of those to record and the Skype track you want to turn monitoring on so you can hear what's coming in from Skype. Um, if you need to change the track settings later, you can do with this little I button. If this panel down here is not available, it's underneath the little dial in the top left. So you hit the little I button and then you can change the track channels and the levels down here if you need. And the next thing you're gonna do is open up Skype and let's do, let's actually set this to record. That's recording in both tracks, and we'll do a little test call with the Skype test call lady. As you can see, the levels. Welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, 
Your message will be played back to you. Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and you're listening to the Music Photo Podcast, session number 18. So let's hang up. You can, as you can see, it's recorded really nicely into two tracks. You've got the little Skype lady talking. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and you're listening to the Music Photo Podcast, session number 18. I'm talking there on the other track and the best thing about this is you can edit them separately. You can get a really clean signal through both. You can uh, chop it up. You can put a compressor on or whatever other effects that you do. You can edit them separately and it's really, really handy and easy to do. It actually sounds a bit fuzzy coming through the Skype test call, but when you record it, um, probably through your microphone and um, when you record it through someone else's end, even if they've just got like the built-in MacBook microphone, it actually does a surprisingly very good job. So there you have it. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's actually very easy to do once you do it a couple of times. And the best part about it is it's super cheap. All you need is a microphone, some headphones and a Mac. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me one of these bad boys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.